I hope you guys are having fun with this playthrough. I will post a new episode every day, so make sure you push the subscribe and bell buttons if you want to follow the series. And now let's get this. Alright, so let's check our corners. That's a door. Not yet open. Something's down there. I do not like that yet. Seems to slide you down towards enemies or something. And that is the central area. We need to lower these four trapdoors so that we can reach those four objects on the main pillar. And before you join Pastor, we were doing another level. I think the city of Kamun was it called or something. There was a pillar there that uh, had four inserts, like four keyholes. And I was talking about how that very column was part of the next level. Well, we have arrived in the next level, I guess. We will have to travel back to the old level to use those items. Any case, first of all, let's get down and get some medkits. You can see how much ammo the game gives me, how much good ammo, magnums. It actually makes me more scared than uh, <laughs> than anything, because when the game gives you ammo, it usually means there's enemies ahead. Like, especially in uh, close corridors. And there goes the first trapdoor. Especially in close corridors. When the game presents you with ammo, it's an oh shit moment. Like, okay, <laughs> something's about to jump me. Better be ready. Okay, now this is a weird part of the game. Like, this thing up ahead is considered a secret area. As you can uh, listen to the sound effect playing. I don't know why, because you kind of need to go here in order to go down. Alright, let's drop down. I'm gonna take some fall damage, if I remember correctly. Oh, actually, a lot of fall damage. Jesus. That was half my health. Alright, so whenever the game shows a camera like that, a door that's not opening, it means you're progressing, but you need to do more in order to open it. Once we gather all these four items, then we can go. Then we can uh, go through that door. All right, now I think we can jump onto this one. Let's get a better angle. So there is a pathway up there. Let's grab the medkit real quick. Man, you have to be exactly on top of a medkit to pick it up. Well, this looks familiar. Have we been here? No, we haven't been here. All right, let's explore this a bit. Oh, interesting. I think we visited... No, we didn't. Actually, that's the uh, my memory playing tricks on me. It's a totally new room. Let's see where it leads. Obviously, we're supposed to jump there. As the game gets eerily quiet. Well, that's a debate I've been having with myself. Are games actually scarier when they are totally quiet 
more scarier when they play a scary music. I'm not sure. But I was scared back in the day when I was playing games that didn't have any sound effects or any music, a total silence. Now, what do we need to do now, though? Should I just drop down? You obviously cannot go cannot go up here. Not yet, at least. Uh oh, what's this passage? Oh, there's a switch. Okay, cool. So it does serve a purpose. And something moved. It was not sand, though. Oh, it's this. Okay, cool. So this area has transformed now. Okay, so what's the purpose of this, though? Oh, wait a sec, we can get up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely safe, because you can hear mummies upstairs. Oh, I hate these guys. Okay, quickly, Lara. Oh, jeez. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna do the trick. Jumping and shooting until he's dead. There you go. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, did the developers code enemies to be hard exactly because they know players will find tricks to uh, deal with them? Because back in the day, man, enemies were tough. But we always found the cheese, as we call it. Like the uh, little tricks to actually outsmart them. Okay, so now I've unlocked two things, interestingly enough. Does this just lead? Yeah, this just leads to the starting area. Okay, cool. So. We haven't actually visited this place down here, have we? Oh, interesting. If you remember, this was a slide just a few minutes ago. So it seems this transformed as well. Oh, that's the room we were before. Okay, interesting. I don't need to go here, though. Yeah, let's go back up. <laughs> now, which was the one that moved down there? Okay, how do we safely go down there without taking any fall damage? I could probably just dive in the pool. No, actually I cannot. Oh wait, I cannot actually go here, can I? Oh man, we have to take the same route, I think. Now if I wasn't lazy, I could probably go down and find a way that's more safe. But, as you kind of guessed, I am lazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the quick way. I do have enough med packs to sustain damage, so it's not such a big deal, I guess. Now that part is closer to the ground, right? So let's do the same thing again. Okay, that's where the thing is we need to pick up. It's probably going to take half my health. Yep, as expected. Okay, down two. 
Two more to go. And now remember, if we activate this switch... Well, actually, I do not remember what happens. Let's see. Something happened, but I don't know what. In any case, let's try and lower this bridge now. Oh, I know this place. Okay, this is one of those instances where the developers are being mean again. Down there, whenever you see those things, by the way, I guess those are sarcophagus for the mummies. Maybe. They do not look like sarcophagus, but maybe they are. That means there are uh, those nasty enemies down there. You actually do not need to drop down there and fight them. It's just the developer is baiting you again. And I will probably avoid that fight. Not only because I'm a coward, <laughs> but also because I want to conserve some med packs for later. So there is a thing upstairs there we can go. There's also a side area here though. Let's explore this a bit. Without falling down, mind you. <laughs> yeah, this is actually kind of scary. I think I've made up my mind. Those old games, uh, they were scarier. You know that as soon as you drop down, it triggers the entire thing. And all the enemies swarm you at once. <coughs> now, what are we even doing here, though? This doesn't look like much. This is just meant to get me down here and fight these guys. Maybe. There is a safe spot up there. So maybe if I'm fast, I could make a run for it. Should we try this just for fun? Let's save and see how this goes. Let's experiment a bit. Now, we'll need to drop down fast and run towards that spot. If I drop down, I think they will catch up to me. So let's actually take a running start. Come on, Lara, keep moving. I can hear them. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, jeez. We made it. <laughs> so I went against my better judgment and dropped down. Just to show you guys a good time, I guess. <laughs> and, of course, you get no rewards for doing so. Literally nothing. Alright, so let's heal ourselves a bit. And let's now go the actual way we were supposed to go. It's funny how I kind of know where I need to go, but I cannot shy away from the challenge sometimes. <coughs> Alright, so let's orient ourselves. That's where we started. That's where we need to go, up there. <coughs> ok, 
Okay, a mad pack, suspiciously placed like this. Is there an enemy around? Oh, that's a secret area? Interesting. So this whole area was just for fun. No switch, no nothing. Interesting. I remember this wrong. I thought there was a switch here. Oh, come on, there was a switch here somewhere. Can't be that wrong. Oh yeah, we have to go across here, I think. Hopefully. Interesting, no switch here either. No, wait. Let's think about this logically. This cannot be for not here. So, Pastor, you say, I think shotgun will do more damage to mummies, you think? You know what? Just for the fun. I'm gonna take the shotgun out. Just to try it out. I have no idea. The magnums were, al were always my favorite guns in this game. So who knows, maybe you're right. We'll test your theory. <laughs> Alright, so come on, there's gotta be a switch somewhere. Where is it? I'm gonna try going down again. This can't be an empty area. Doesn't feel right. Alright, what's over here? Alright, that's the same path we took, going downstairs. Alright, if I was a switch, where would I be? Probably not all the way down. Oh, that would be just mean. Let's run this one more time. <coughs> I think it should be somewhere here. We cannot go back without flipping a switch. We need to lower that bridge. Oh, look at that. That's a crack. Okay, that's probably what I missed. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't do this the first time we came around. That's probably where the switch is. I'm wondering if the shotgun does a lot of damage up close. And very little damage from afar, like it, uh, like it is in today's modern games. I wonder if the developers had thought of that back then. Come on, give me a switch. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Finally. <laughs> okay. Oh, found it. Yeah, exactly. So now we can go back out and retrieve object number three. Is there a way I can go fast back up? I don't think so. These Egypt levels, those are the, the ones that introduced me to the concept of grinding, I guess, back in the day. Like all the levels up to now, in Peru and uh, Greece on Rome, they were actually, well, not short, but they were normal, like half an hour levels. Some of them even faster than that. But these levels now, I mean, even if you're a speedrunner, those will take some time. As you, as you see, you have to go retrieve something and then go back the, the way you came. 
So there's actually no way around it. You have to, uh... You have to grind a bit. Playing this game kind of makes me want to have more Tomb Raider movies. Did they only make one movie? I'm trying to think right now. Was it only the Angelina Jolie movie or did they make something else? I think there's only one Tomb Raider movie, am I wrong? Alright, number three. Just one object remaining. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I remember that area. Oh, boy. Okay, so, definitely saving. And now, now we're gonna test your theory, Pastor, because if I remember correctly, there's a nasty surprise up ahead. My only question, is it gonna be one or two enemies? Let's see. There he is. Come on. Oh, he's not coming alive, though. Interesting. Look at him. Is she losing health? No, she's just uh, making that sound effect. Can I shoot him? No. Interesting. Oh man, that switch was well hidden. Oh man, I do not trust that thing there. <laughs> I'm afraid it will come alive at any second. Oh, so you never heard of it, huh? Okay. When does this thing come alive? What happens if I go down here? Oh! Oh, I know! Okay, so we came in a different way than we were supposed to. We came in from the central area we could have come from this way. This actually leads back to a, a known part of the level, I think. Oh man, should I go? Yeah, let's go just for the fun. Oh, now he's coming. Oh, jeez. Ah, interesting. Okay, that was quicker. Yeah, that was definitely quicker than the, with the magnums. All right then. You know what shotgun it is. Let's uh, let's keep playing with the shotgun. It's not a weapon that really suits Lara, but yeah, if it's more powerful, who even cares, right? <laughs> All right, final fourth piece. Nice. We must be nearing the end now. Now it opens. Excellent. All right, let's take a dive. And let's go end this. Now, ah, where is the exit? I think it's somewhere in the central pillar. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Okay. Let's make sure we have enough air, though, first. And now let's go. Oh, interesting ammunition left and right. Oh, lots of little corners here to explore. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of air. Why have the devs placed so many items? <laughs> Maybe that's a lesson in greed. Like, if you want to catch all of them, you will run out of air. Am I going the right way, though? Man, we do not have a lot of air. Come on. Jesus, I'm gonna run out of it. Alright, thankfully. Alright, there's gonna be enemies here. Definitely. Let's grab that ammo. Oh, 
Oh, I can see him already. Yeah, there he is. Now, which way are you gonna go? I'm gonna go the opposite. No, get away from me. Nice. It takes three shots to kill them. Okay. Shotgun is good. I don't know why I sound surprised. <laughs> maybe because I never tried it. Or maybe because the game keeps giving me freaking magnum ammo. Like all the time. Is there anything else in this room? I think not. All right, let's move on. Oh, that's the very start of the level. Interesting. Wait, Lara is seeing somebody. Oh! Nice. All right, shotgun. My new weapon of choice. Anybody else around here? Let's make sure. Oh, a nice large med pack. Let's actually go down and run around a bit. This seems like a very large area. What do we have here? Oh, that's the start of the level. Nice. Wait a sec, though. There might be new enemies. Okay, nobody's out to surprise me. Let's take this one step at a time, though. I'm surprised. If I was the game, the developers had spawned some new enemies now. Right, so in any case... Now we have the four items we need. <coughs> no, not this one, Lara. <laughs> Come on, okay, which one? I think this one goes here. Yeah, and the game is already pointing at the door. So you kind of know what's about to happen. And the final item. <laughs> the seal of Anubis. Very dramatic names, by the way. <laughs> oh, and that's definitely the end of the level. It's gotta be. It's funny. I thought the game would spawn some uh, enemies to end the level, but I guess not. Maybe the developers grew tired. <laughs> Of throwing enemies and mummies at me. Alright, let's go. Nice, Obelisk of Kamun. We did it in uh, less than an hour, which is nice. Goes to show you that I kind of know my way around. We actually found two out of three secrets. Which is interesting because I usually find zero secrets. <laughs> and only 15 kills. Man, it feels like a lot more. Interesting. And that's the end of this episode then. If you enjoyed it, remember to press the like button to help my channel out and definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. To watch the next one, you can find a playlist link in the description of this video. 
And if you want to receive a notification for every new episode, make sure to click the subscribe and bell buttons right below this video. Thanks again, guys. See you in tomorrow's episode.